The topic of this video is multidimensional scaling. It's new in Stack Graphics 18. Multidimensional scaling is a method for displaying the similarity of cases when you have a set of multivariate quantitative data. It projects points from a higher dimensional space to a lower dimensional space in a manner that preserves as much as possible the distances between pairs of observations. An important part of the output of the procedure is a low dimensional map which is used to visualize the information in the data. As an example, I have here some data from the OECD. It describes various characteristics of 22 member countries including things like interest rates, inflation, life expectancy, unemployment rates, and a couple other variables. I'm going to show you how we can use multidimensional scaling to plot this data in a way that helps us view which countries are similar to which other countries. In order to use multidimensional scaling in Stack Graphics 18, you'll need to download and install the R language. To install R, select R interface from the main Stack Graphics menu. When this dialog box appears, press the install button and follow the directions. That will download and install R on your computer. It's free. You'll also need to install several packages. To use multidimensional scaling, you'll need to push this button here to install Pandoc and R Markdown. And to do the multidimensional scaling, you'll need to press the button labeled Install Mass. Once you've installed R and the Mass package, you can then select R Interface Multidimensional Scaling. There are two ways to supply data to use in multidimensional scaling. The first way is the way I'm doing here, giving it the raw data. In my case, there are seven columns with 22 observations each, one for each country. If I'd already computed some sort of distance between each pair of countries. I could give it a 22 by 22 distance matrix instead. It would then do the multi-dimensional scaling directly from that distance matrix. The next dialog box lets you select options to perform the multi-dimensional scaling. The mass package in R performs two basic types of MDS. It performs metric MDS, which is designed for continuous variables like we have here, and also non-metric MDS, which you use when you have ordinal rather than continuous data. You may also choose the number of dimensions for which you want the program to calculate coordinates. Usually you'll select either 2 or 3. If you've supplied raw data to the program, the first thing it will need to do is calculate the distance between all pairs of observations. It does this in the higher dimensional space corresponding to the number of variables that you've given it. You can have it calculate distance in three different ways. Euclidean would correspond to the way we calculate physical distance. Squared Euclidean would be the square of the distance between the observations. A city block distance would be the distance between two observations if you needed to travel always being parallel to one of the axes. Finally, if you're calculating distances, you need to tell the program whether or not to standardize the variables. 
standardizing the variables means taking the variables, subtracting their sample mean, and dividing by their sample standard deviation. If you have variables with different units, as I have here, you'll definitely want to standardize those variables. Once you select the options you want to use, you can then pick the tables and graphs you'd like to display. I'm going to be particularly interested in the coordinate plots which map out the individual observations and the scree plot which helps me judge how many dimensions I need to properly show the data. When you press the OK button StackGraphics 18 will send your data to R together with a script that tells it what calculations are desired. R will do the calculations and return the results to StackGraphics which it will display in a typical analysis window. I've gone ahead and loaded my data into the StackGraphics 18 data sheet. You'll see that I have 22 rows, each corresponding to a country in the OECD. Then I have seven quantitative variables that describe various characteristics of those countries. To do the multidimensional scaling, I'll go to the top menu and select R Interface Multidimensional Scaling. When it asks how my data is set up, I'll tell it I have multiple data columns. The seven quantitative columns go in the data field. The column with the country names goes where it says point labels. When I press OK, I'll get a choice of what type of MDS to perform, how to calculate the distance matrix, and so forth. I'll press OK and take all the defaults. The tables I want are the analysis summary and a table of the eigenvalues. For graphs, I'll select both of the coordinate plots and a scree plot. I'll now press OK. StackGraphics will send the information to R, and when it's done, StackGraphics will display the results in an analysis window. Before we look at the output of the multidimensional scaling procedure, I'd like to motivate what we're trying to do by going to the plot menu to scatter plots and doing a simple XYZ plot. I'd love to plot all seven variables in a seven dimensional space, but I haven't yet figured out how to do that. Instead, I'm going to pick the first three variables, press OK, and ask for an XYZ scatter plot. Even in a three dimensional space, it's a little hard to judge what points are really close to each other and which ones are far apart. If I start rotating the plot, you may notice that points that appeared to be close to each other are perhaps farther apart than you thought. Those that appeared to be far apart are perhaps not so far apart. What the multiple dimensional scaling procedure is going to try to do is find a projection of these points down onto a two-dimensional space so that we can visualize properly how close individual multivariate observations are to each other. Let me also label some of these points by going to the toolbar and asking to identify points. I'm going to select country as my identifier and ask it to label all the points. You can now see that some of the points that are far away from each other are Turkey and Japan. Japan obviously has a large government debt, but not much inflation. And if we rotate it a little bit, we can see that the interest rates are pretty low. That's quite different than Turkey, which has high interest rates, but low government debt and high inflation. 
you can also see groups of points that appear to be close to one another but it's difficult in three dimensions. So now let's take a look at what the multi-dimensional scaling procedure can do for us. One of the primary outputs of the MDS procedure is this two-dimensional map. And I'll reduce the text font a little bit so you can read the labels better. What this shows us is the 22 countries which were originally points in seven-dimensional space projected down into two-dimensional space. And the idea is it's tried to preserve the distances between the points. So points like Japan and Turkey, which were far removed in the higher dimensional space, far apart from each other, are still far apart from each other. Okay? Other countries like Portugal and Belgium and Italy and France and Germany and Spain which were close together in seven dimensions are still close together on this two-dimensional map. The nice thing about a two-dimensional map, particularly if we reduce the font size enough, is that it's much easier to see which countries are close to each other and which are far apart. In order to judge how much information we may be losing by plotting our data in two dimensions rather than seven. It's useful to look at something called the scree plot. The scree plot plots the eigenvalues of the distance matrix. Notice that the first eigenvalue is approximately 85. The second is only a fraction of that, a little bit less than 30. From there, they fall off quite dramatically. This implies by plotting the data in two dimensions, we've preserved most of the interesting information about how far the points are from each other, how different or how similar certain countries are to other countries. If we want to save the coordinates that are being plotted, we can go to the analysis toolbar press the Save Results button and ask to save the coordinates. By default, they'll be saved in Datasheet B. We can then go to Datasheet B and use those coordinates in other calculations. There's one other plot you might find helpful. I'll go back to the multidimensional scaling window. Go up to the list of tables and graphs and ask for something called a shepherd plot. A shepherd plot plots distances between all pairs of observations. In this case, between all pairs of the 22 countries. On the axis, the x-axis, is the input proximity. That's the actual distance between the points in seven dimensions. On the y-axis is the derived distance based upon the number of coordinates I've selected on my Analysis Options dialog box. There's a pretty close agreement between the distances in three dimensions and seven dimensions. If I push the right mouse button and go back to Analysis Options, I can ask for only two dimensions instead you'll see a slight change in the shepherd plot, yet the relationship is still very strong. Based on this analysis, I'm confident that this two-dimensional map is showing me a good picture of which countries are similar to each other and which are different with respect to those seven quantitative variables that I started with.